Good afternoon to you. Mark out of HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Outlook and discussion for Friday, November 2nd, 2018. In the eastern Pacific, the beat goes on as we get more activity trying to brew. We don't have to worry about this at all, as it says, 0%. This will probably eventually try to develop, and this is going to be our next depression and next name storm, Xavier, in the eastern Pacific. If we click on it, we can see the satellite picture from the Tropical Weather Outlook and yeah it looks like it will develop it's uh rare to see this in november but here it is nevertheless adding to the already very very busy season that we have seen in the southeastern pacific basin the forecast track for this uh once they issue the first advisory later this afternoon will likely be up here towards the southwest part of mexico but it's not looking like it'll make landfall just yet over the next several days the modeling indicating sort of weak steering currents not much to force this in any one direction over another so it'll just be a slow mover and depending on how close it gets to the coastline there's the potential that this could dump some heavy rainfall here for portions of Mexico so that's something we're going to need to monitor because as we know that can add up and become a very big problem in the uh, Atlantic Basin yeah I mean looks like winter time almost look at that front making it all the way down through the northwest gulf of mexico and the southeastern part of that uh, approaching the yucatan channel down here and uh, much colder air coming in behind this sometimes you get development on the tail end of one of these fronts but i'm not seeing it in the global models for whatever reason yeah it's hard to explain why sometimes you see it and others you don't i guess in this case with the pacific here being so busy with all that activity there's just really not enough energy to go around even with something that sort of drapes itself over the Atlantic Basin uh, you know but sometimes you get that you don't ever just ignore it uh, check this out you have another front it looks like all the way down into parts of the Northeast Caribbean had a little bit of rain and thunderstorm activity in St. John today our good friend Brent down there texting me and telling me about that how it woke him up last night and uh, that'll continue but it's not related to any tropical waves or anything just some instability in the area look at all the strong upper level winds cutting across the deep tropics it's that time of year it's shutdown time everything in the Atlantic Basin pretty much closed for business for now again it won't be surprising to me if we see something develop in this realm over the next month or so even in the off season as water temperatures are fairly warm and you just get these areas of energy that pinch off from the jet stream up here they rotate back subtropical in nature at first and then they hang around long enough to become tropical at some point that just seems to be where we are in the recent um, you know past several years but nothing out there to worry about right now so that's great so let's take a look real quick at what's happening with our system here in the Pacific this is the GFS from 12Z today and you can see that it does try to develop but it never quite makes landfall it gets fairly close to the Mexican coastline up here but then it kind of backs away that other system tries to develop this is a seven day I think this is seven days uh, it's either five or seven but the bottom line over this time period no it does not get to the coastline but it would be close enough that it could bring some of that heavy rain that I talked about and depending on how strong it gets how quickly there would be an increase in surf that comes up here as well so for surfers along the Mexican Pacific coastline boy I bet it's beautiful out there uh, this would be good news for you and we'll just have to monitor this and see how this plays out especially since there's two of these systems and that sort of binary interaction between them there's the first one there's the second one and how they interact with each other will maybe determine what happens in terms of uh, Xavier here which will be named eventually and where it ends up so something to watch over the weekend in the next several days even as we delve through the first few days of November uh, all right so lower 48 weather real quick uh, I showed you yesterday from Alan Huffman uh, the meteorologist in the Raleigh area and uh, this is the region we need to watch later today as these thunderstorms not the ones down here but as others develop as part of this line wouldn't surprise me to see some severe weather through parts of the Piedmont and the Triangle area of the Carolinas 
So just be on the lookout for that. I don't know what Friday night football games are on, which ones got moved to last night. I know ours did uh, down here in uh, our area. Um, And just be aware, okay? Keep your your phone handy. And if you get the EAS, the emergency activation system or whatever, uh, don't ignore it. Read it because you might have a supercell headed your way or some severe thunderstorms. Pretty sharp line down here. Uh, just passing through the Lake City area. Overall, this front has some punch with it. So in Florida, just be aware of that as this races through. Cedar Key, probably raining pretty good there, pretty windy, I bet. Eventually, this squall line will approach Tampa. And it's just that second severe weather season that I talked about yesterday. And that's going to continue. You see here, James Spann, and this is a guy that knows severe weather. Boy, I tell you what, especially in his market in Alabama, the Birmingham area and surrounding vicinity, obviously. And he's on top of this, and the models are really starting to indicate for next week. Unfortunately, on Election Day, uh, you know, I stay out of politics, but you don't want anything to disrupt Election Day. And this, lots of energy focused here in the Deep South. Uh, So Monday night through Tuesday, we could see a severe weather event. I will focus on this more and more over the coming days just to make sure that we are aware of it uh again it's all about being that word aware weather aware we don't just focus on hurricanes and even though i'm not a severe a severe weather expert per se i know who to follow here in my twitter feed and we can see this coming the models indicating it well ahead of time lots of energy uh, lots of juice in the atmosphere the parameters are going to be there and yeah it's looking rather nasty for parts of mississippi and alabama for next week so we'll talk about this more and more as we transition away from the hurricanes and the hurricane season and more towards winter the second severe weather season nor'easter season blizzard season all of that yeah it doesn't stop not here not in the lower 48 there's always something interesting to track all right so that's it pretty quick today that's what i know and uh we'll see what happens have a great rest of your friday and a great weekend ahead Again, just make sure that you are aware of what's happening with the weather around you, and that will help keep you safe, and you can come back and watch these videos in the future because that's a good thing. All right, I'm done. Mark Sutteth, HurricaneTrack.com. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and listening to me. I'll be back with more coverage for you over the weekend.